before we start this video, guys, do me a real big favor. Give this video a like. You're gonna like it, trust me. It's gonna be a good one. We got an update on Motorama. We got an update on the shop. All over the shop. The Chevelle's not here anymore. We'll explain that a little bit later in the video here when we get started. Um, we have an update on the Raptor. We have a video for the Raptor. That's coming as well in this same video. And we also have an update on Motorama as well. And that's coming in this video as well. Everything's coming in this video. There's gonna be so much stuff in this video. It's gonna be crazy. So do me a favor, stay tuned. First off, I wanna tell everybody that um, I'm, I bought a new gimbal or I bet a gimbal um, and I'm trying it out for the first time. So let me know if the video is real smooth for you. And if, uh, if you like this better than just the selfie stick that I was using before with my GoPro and, uh, you know, give me some comments below. Let me know if you like it or not, if, if the quality, you know, of the movement of it is good and all that stuff. If you do, I'll continue to use it. If you don't, then maybe I'll go back to the selfie stick. I haven't really decided yet. I kind of like this thing. It's pretty cool. Um, some updates. So the Chevelle is gone. No more Chevelle. And soon that Mustang is going to be gone. But no more Chevelle. You know, I decided I needed the room. I talked to the customer. And, um, you know, things just weren't uh, panning out for the project of that car. So uh, I decided to, to just have him come get it. You can't really see it, but there is a table. <laughs> I got a table, guys. There's a fairing kit on it right now, which we won't look at that right now. Um, I, I got a nice metal table right here. Show it right there. It's, it's a big table. There's a whole bunch of stuff blocking it right now, but I have a nice little table. We hooked up a nice light above it. And then I have another light over in that area as well, right above my, my little computer, I guess you would call it a computer desk or whatever you want to call it. Don't mind the calendar. There we go. Okay. Um, put a little light there. And then we have two more lights in the shop to make it even brighter. We got this big guy right here. And that thing is no joke. And then we have one back here. And that's the same light. These are like T5s. They're extremely bright. They really, 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 really light up the shop a lot better than it, than it, it did before. Um, so I'm really, really happy with with how that how the lighting turned out, you know, especially throughout the shop now. Now it's just so much brighter. One of the things I want to talk to you guys about today is we have an update on the Raptor. The Raptor is currently gone; it's done. Um, but here's a little clip of uh, pretty much it completed. Here you guys go. Saturday morning. This video probably won't be loaded up until tomorrow or Monday. I don't know yet. But as you guys can see, the Raptor is done for the most part. Just so you guys can see all this, this beautiful push guard, even though you guys don't call it a push guard, I call it a push guard because I think it looks better as a push guard. I do like this thing. I wouldn't mind having one of these for my truck. They're very, very nice. And we got the light bar on the top. Very, very nice light bar. I think it's made by the same company, ADD. Has the brush guard, push bar, whatever you want to call it. I love these brackets. These brackets are really nicely reinforced. Very nice setup. And then we have the roll bar back here. I got my coffee this morning. I'm, it's, I need my coffee. This roll bar is pretty nice. Um, I don't think I'd trust uh, rolling over on it. It's purely aesthetic, to be honest with you. We are going to be putting KC lights up top here. That's going to be pretty cool. We're probably going to do the LED KC lights on the bar up here. Not the regular old style KC lights. Um, the round ones with the, with the KC caps, we're going to do them. But uh, like I said, they're going to be LEDs. I think that'll be a really cool idea. I do like, let me put my coffee up here. I do like the double bars. And I will say one thing about this thing is 
this company that made these bars has a triple bar as well. So you can put actually three of them here and you can put two bars in the back. So two side by side, one by one by side by side, I guess. Um, this customer decided to get this one, which is more than fine. I mean, you know, it moves around a little bit. It's not too shabby. Um, then again, like I said, it's, it's purely aesthetics. That's pretty much what it is. But other than that, it's nice. I mean, the, uh, the, the powder coating, I guess, or whatever they do on it is really, really nice. The fitment's really, really nice. It's cool. It's a cool bar to have, um, you know, on, on a bed of a truck to put some lights on and stuff of that nature. All right, guys, just like you've seen, um, we got the roll bar on. Um, we got the uh, light bar on on the top. There is one more light that we didn't get on. Um, we need to do a little bracket to it, but he will be coming back with that Raptor and we're gonna be uh, you know, wiring up the lights at that, at that point. Plus there's a few more lights he wanted to get for the truck anyways. He wanted to get some KC lights for the top, um, like I was explaining in the video there. So um, he's gonna get those, he's, back. he's gonna end up bringing the truck back to us and we're gonna finish it up and do all that. But other than that, it's running great. He was extremely happy with the way that thing sounded. He loved it. Very, very happy about everything. So he's definitely obviously gonna be coming back. The other thing is, he also has a GT500 that we're probably gonna be working on as well. I think a 2011 is what it is. So you'll be seeing that in the YouTube videos in the future as well. So, you know, keep, uh, keep posted on that as well. Now for the fun, fun, fun stuff here, guys. Um, Motorama is coming up very, very fast here. February 18th and 19th. As you guys know, if you don't know, I'll repeat it again, even though you've probably heard it a million times already now. Um, myself, along with Nick, Guitarmageddon ZL1, Mike, Street Speed 717, and Troy Sowers are all gonna be at Motorama, and we're all gonna be there, you know, um, with vehicles. Uh, obviously, Nick's gonna have his, uh, you know, ZL1. Mike's gonna have his Corvette. I am bringing my bike which I kind of, kind of can't really tell you what we're doing with it, but uh, I mean, it's, it's gonna be pretty badass. You guys gotta, you guys gotta come and see it. It's gonna be freaking amazing. Um, so we're gonna be there. They're gonna be there. Everyone's gonna be there. We're gonna have, we're literally gonna be taking over that show. It's gonna be freaking amazing, guys. You don't wanna miss it. So like I said, it's February 18th and 19th. All the information of Motorama is down in the description. Check it out, click on the link. It has the dates and the times the prices for getting in for tickets, all that jazz. We will, myself, will have stickers there to give out. Um, we will have shirts for sale. Um, we're gonna bring, we're probably gonna bring a lot of shirts to, to sell and stuff. So we'll have shirts for sale and stuff of that nature. So please do me a favor, stop by the DFR booth, check us out, buy a t-shirt, grab a sticker, whatever you guys wanna do. Uh, quantities are limited. So once the stuff is gone, it is gone. We're not gonna have, you know, a whole bunch of stuff there uh just a, a very limited quality quantity very limited quantity other than that i do want to tell you guys all the vehicles that we're going to be bringing here's the vehicles we're bringing it's going to be at our booth with his zl1 of course um mike as far as i know will be in between shane and my booth representing both of us obviously because shane will be wrapping the car and you know obviously i did the work to the car um I'm going to be bringing the Twin Turbo Red GTO. That's going to be there. Uh, what else is going to be there? This ZL1 right here is going to be there. A third gen Camaro Z28 with an LS swap in it. Probably one of the first jobs that we ever did years and years and years ago. You guys got to see that. It's a very, very, very nice car. We are bringing a wrapped SRT8 Jeep that we worked on. That's cammed and extremely loud. We are bringing um, a GT500. We are also bringing the Raptor that you guys seen in the video, in this last video. We're bringing that Raptor as well. Um, we're gonna have a very nice lifted Chevy 1500, like a 2016 or something in maroon, beautiful truck. I think it's like a six or eight inch lift with uh, big you know, 35s on it. So we're gonna have that in our booth as well. Um, we're also going to have a 2001 Trans Am NHRA edition um, WS6 car that was fully built by us years and years and years ago. He's gonna be there as well. Stephanie will have her CBR 600 Double R Graffiti Edition street bike there as well. So come by and say hi to her. Convince her to start a YouTube channel, guys. She really needs to. I think she'll have a lot of fun doing it. And I think you guys would enjoy seeing her on YouTube a lot. So be sure to stop by and see her bike and, and see her as well. I think I might be missing a car or a vehicle and I can't remember what it is. 
that we have i think we have like nine eight or nine vehicles coming and two motorcycles coming so we're gonna have a big booth guys i mean a big booth i wasn't planning on having a big booth like this i was thinking we we're just gonna have like three two three cars including nick obviously and and that would have been it and then all of a sudden you know things changed and we started inviting more projects that we have done in the past and more people that we've worked with in the past and and they were all game for it as well the amount of cars that we're going to have there just for ourselves is going to be crazy and this is the first year i've done this i've never done motorama before and i'm probably going to do it again next year as well but this is the first year and i, I tell you what i guess i guess the saying is true either go big or go home and dfr is going to go freaking big at motorama we're going to have a huge huge booth there guys so like i said before man do me a favor stop by go ahead and and grab a sticker buy a t-shirt grab a business card say hi check out all the cool cars that we're going to be bringing i think you guys will have a great time like i said again february 18th and 19th information is going to all be in the description go check it out other than that guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did give her a big thumbs up like subscribe don't forget to subscribe instagram diablo formula racing facebook diablo formula racing deuces You guys want to see something cool? I mean, other than the Viper. What you're looking at here is going to be the new home of a 9,000 pound Atlas dual post overhead lift. Yes.